In this optimization problem, we want to find the volume of a largest cylinder that can fit inside of a sphere with radius 11. So I want to make a quick drawing. So we want to draw a sphere. And inside that sphere, we're going to put a cylinder. Okay. Now, the sphere itself has a radius of 11, and I'm going to put it right to the tip and that edge of that cylinder so that I can highlight the fact that this cylinder is going to have a radius right there. And then we have a height of that right there. We can call it H, which H would be bad because let's call it X. Because ultimately, if we can figure out how high that is, um, and that the area of the cylinder is a function of x, then we could take the derivative and potentially find the maximum or minimum. And in this case, we want to find the largest cylinder, so we're wanting to maximize. So I need to connect all these things together. Well, x is our variable, but notice x also goes down and touches there. So we have two x's, essentially, and then we have this radius right here, this radius for the cylinder. Okay, That is a function of the radius of the sphere and however high up we can go from the center of the sphere uh, towards the outer edge. So by the Pythagorean theorem, the radius squared is going to equal... 11 squared minus x squared. Okay, so now let's look at the um, volume of the cylinder. Because that's ultimately we want to figure out the volume of the largest cylinder. All right, so volume of a cylinder is the base times the height. Well, in this case, the base is a circle, so pi r squared times the height. Okay, now the height of the cylinder, in our case, is the entire line 2x. So this is going to become 2x. And lo and behold, we actually already have what r squared is. We found that over here. So the volume of the cylinder is going to be pi times 11 squared minus x squared times 2x. So if I rewrite that a little simplified, that's pi times 121 minus x squared times 2x, and I can kind of foil this out, and I'll get uh, 242 pi x minus 2 pi x cubed. So this function is what we're needing to optimize. If we can figure out the smallest x um, for this function, uh, then we will have figured out exactly what we need. Uh, so let's take the derivative. So V prime for the cylinder, uh, that's going to equal 242 pi minus 6 pi x quantity squared. Uh, so I'm going to set that equal to 0. I'm going to have 242 pi minus 6 pi x squared is 0. Uh, so x squared is going to be 11 over, or sorry, 121. Getting a little ahead of myself. So it's going to be 121 over 3. So when I take the square root, it's going to be 11 over the square root of 3. So this 11 over square root of 3 is going to be the largest uh, x that will fit in the, in the sphere. <clears throat> so what if we want to figure out the volume that would do that. Well, we can do that. So the volume of the cylinder then was still pi r squared times the height. But remember, in our case, the height here was 2 times x, and this was 11 squared minus x squared. So that's going to be pi times 121 minus 11 square root of 3 squared times 
2 parentheses 11 over the square root of 3. So if we do some simplification here, we get pi, and then this inside parentheses becomes 242 over 3 times, uh, and that's going to give us 22 over square root of 3. And so 242 times 22 would give me 5,324. Let me back that up. 24. A pi was on top, over, and then 3 times square root of 3 on the bottom. Now if you really wanted to test yourself, try and figure this out in the most general form. That is, instead of having an 11, make that an A and try to find the general equation that would be the maximal error or volume.